Um, but in your clinical practice, how has copper toxicity affected your clients? What do you see? Well, we see many different kinds of uh, psychological reactions. Common ones are uh, anxiety and panic attacks, depression. Uh, if the adrenals still uh, have some viability, uh, then what you have uh, is uh, what many psychiatrists uh, diagnose as bipolar disorder. But when we see the HDMA mineral pattern and the copper toxic pattern, it's not bipolar. It's what I call pseudo-bipolar. Uh, but the symptoms are what the uh, mental health people zero in on. They have no understanding of what the underlying uh, mineral pattern could be that is contributing to the low energy and depression on the one hand, and the drivenness uh, that is the manic -y part of what they're calling bipolar. And that usually will show in a hair analysis is a high sodium to a low potassium. They're running on adrenaline, but they're physically exhausted. And so that's why you can see them uh, dragging along uh, for quite a while, and then all of a sudden, uh, when they're stressed, they flip into this manic -y reaction. Or and fire or fire flight. It's yeah, it's basically an intense fight or flight. Mm -hmm. And then that uh, pattern uh, of occasional episodes of intense fight or flight, together with chronic low energy and depression, that's been given a, a diagnostic label of bipolar disorder. That's not a mental illness when we see the underlying a copper toxic mineral pattern. Yeah. How does copper toxicity affect emotions and relationships? Well, one of the ways it uh, affects uh, psychological functioning is it produces many of the distractibility and thought disorders uh, and um, processing disorders that are given an ADD diagnosis. Uh, but the copper toxicity also will fluctuate with the woman's menstrual cycle. So she can be uh, going in and out of crises. And if the woman's uh, husband or partner is not aware of that, if the woman is not aware of that, then her emotional and behavioral reactions can sometimes look extremely bizarre. And because it's closely related to fight or flight and the stress response, very intense anger and rage on the one hand, and anxiety and panic attacks on the other. When you have HDMA data, you can see the underlying uh, mineral toxicity and imbalances and understand this is what is a driving force for so much of this bizarre behavior that stresses the relationship. Mm -hmm.